Your family station, WBFJ, presents Local Flavors, giving you a taste of some of the best Christian artists from your hometown. This week on Local Flavors, we shine the spotlight on a five-man Christian rock band from Albemarle Conviction Notice. The current band members have been together for the past two years, and recently I had the chance to sit down and talk with Tony, Chad, Wilson, Tim, and Brad, and I started out by asking the guys how they came up with their name. Wilson explains. I grew up in church all my life, and uh, I didn't hear a lot spoke on conviction. Uh, No longer did you hear about conviction of sin in one's life. The verse that came to mind was, uh, he said, he stands at the door and he knocks. You know, a lot of times we've misconstrued the verse, and we we try to make that him knocking on the door of our hearts, which he does, but he's talking to the church, and he's saying, let me in, and they just kind of shunned him. And I thought, you know what we need in today's church and the Christian life in the world today is a conviction notice. During the interview, I asked the guys what someone could expect at one of their concerts. Tony shares. They're going to hear 10 or 12 songs, and none of them are going to sound like the other one. We do a wide variety of styles that range anything from almost a country flavor to hard rock to uh, alternative and just about anything else you can imagine, even some kind of bluesy things. We love music. All of us really love music, and we all love the Lord. And we want to make sure that they know that the main thing is not just how good is the music, you know, how good is the beat, what's it make me feel like, but to know that Jesus Christ is the the absolute center of every song we do and everything we try to do as a band. And what does the future hold for these guys in the band? Well, Tony talks about a neat idea God recently laid on their hearts. He explains. We had been praying for quite some time about how are we going to get the finances together or maybe get someone to back the band so we could go do a studio CD. We had talked with some studios about the cost of doing it, and it just seemed to be way beyond what we could do. So then we started talking about perhaps doing a live CD first and using some of the proceeds from that to fund doing our first studio CD. And we had just been praying about it and for the longest time we didn't seem to be getting anywhere with knowing exactly what to do. And about a month ago at the rehearsal, it just seemed like everything came together. We started throwing ideas out that none of us had ever really thought of before. What we believe that the Lord showed us was that we're to do a, a live conviction notice event and we're going to pre-sale tickets for that. And when people buy the tickets, they're going to get the come to the live event. They'll also get a copy of the CD mailed to them after the event, and they're going to get a really nice one-time only kind of commemorative shirt for one price. We're going to pre-sell that event so that we're trying to be really good stewards of what God's blessed us with. We really believe that that God will will bless that event enough that we will then have a, a good start towards doing our first studio CD as well. For more on the band, log on to convictionrock.com or check them out on Facebook. Local Flavors, presented by your family station, WBFJ. To find out more about today's artist or how to be featured as a local flavor, visit our website. It's wbfj.fm.